Hello! Okay, so here we are with another reading, and let's just get straight into it. Um, spirit, God, divinely presences um, who are here to help guide the universe, and especially us here on Earth, um, um, us Earthlings, towards a better and greater future uh, in alignment with our, our highest and greatest good, um, and the highest and greatest good of all creatures, um, living and dead. So spirit, um, with love. Yeah, what's going on? Okay, there is always enough, Sedna. There is always enough, Sedna. There is always enough. There is always enough. Always enough. This is interesting because with this um, card, it makes you think of like conservation. There is always enough, um, like environmental work. It also made me think of that statement. There's always more fishies in the sea. There's always more fishies in the sea. Um, no more hiding there's always enough but it also is making me think you know there's room for everyone there's room for everything everyone can have a seat at the table everyone can be a part of this it's interesting that these are both that we're having both people of the same like um kind of of similar backgrounds because it's also making me think about community Interesting. And then we have Joy, Lemuria, Mermaid of Lemuria. Um, Amaterasu, 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 Sedna, and the Mermaid of Lemuria. Joy, no more hiding, and there is always enough. This also makes me think about like work, you know? It's kind of like when we feel like we always need to be put to work or we always need to be working, we always need to be protecting or conserving, saving. Um, and there's this energy of like kind of being liberated from having to hermit yourself away and be in the cave, you know, being productive or constructive with your time or conserving your energy. There's a lot around conserving. And I feel like there is this ask here for you to expel, expel some energy, um, give, give some energy out. That's what There's Always Enough also talks about, you know, gratitude and giving, sharing. Um, but this feels like sharing your presence with the world, sharing your energy with the world, um, basking in the sun and the light and uh, um, enjoying your space in the public and being seen. There's something here around kind of getting out of your shell a little bit. Expand your consciousness of DT, emotional healing, visionary. Yeah, there could be some type of um, release that needs to happen where that allows you to experience some like happiness and emotional and relief. And it might come from you expressing yourself a little bit more, showing up and showing out, showing up for yourself and like showing out um, in the sense that you're just not hiding away, you're not hermiting away. This could be about going out, a night on the town. Hmm, this is interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, interesting. With beauty here, this does give me maybe more of a romantic energy now. Because now I'm wondering, like, if this is about feeling good about yourself, feeling beautiful, honoring yourself, honoring your image, and letting the world see you, letting the world adore you, adorn you. Um, 
And yeah, there are plenty of fishes in the sea, but you are unique and you are your own unique construction. And maybe there's something around that too. Like, you know, there's so many trees and all trees are beautiful, but you're a unique tree and you've got your own scent and your own style, your own look. Um, and there's something special about you. And maybe that's being magnified right now, or maybe there's someone identifying that within you. Maybe you're being seen. Maybe it's also one of those energies where it's like, yes, there's plenty of fishes in the sea. There's so many trees in the forest, but <clears throat> you know, you stand out. You stand out against the landscape. You stand out against the background. And that's something to be celebrated. That's something to acknowledge. You're not like your peers. And maybe there's something around that that needs to be accepted. Interesting. We've got a lot of like um, Asian goddesses coming through here. So that could be, that could have an impact. Those could be voices that are really speaking heavily at this time. There could be something to learn from these goddesses. Maybe it's talking a little bit about like grace and beauty and how that merges so much with um, the way that they carry themselves. Just through the typical depictions we've seen in media and um, in the different religious figures or spiritual figures, spiritual stories. Maybe you need to listen to some um, stories from different Asian goddesses of different cultures, but like there's like an emphasis on like East Asian goddesses and especially listen to their stories around beauty and acceptance, self-acceptance and letting the inner self shine. Something around that because they do seem to have some wisdom to impart and they're showing up here to kind of highlight that you stand out. There's something about you that is significant enough to be spotlit and to ask and they seem to be asking you to bring yourself out to emerge you know it could even be that you know you're hiding one of the most spectacular parts about yourself you know hiding it away because maybe it makes you different or it's just too obvious but it's like this is the part of you that um really does need to be seen Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the goddess, the goddesses really could be coming through and giving you a bit of comfort and nurturing you at this time. Because um, there could be some struggles around beauty and just how you're feeling about yourself. And you just need to remember that like so many of these things are illusions. And if you can stay devoted to the feeling, to creating your own feeling, your own sense of beauty, that could be really transformative at this time. finding joy within your own expression, within your own appearance. There is something here around beauty and um, healing coming from that. Yeah. New birth. It hurts the goddesses. This is interesting. I think this is kind of a brief message. Okay. Yeah. There could be some emotional healing coming here, coming through here around self image. Um, so, right now, I mean, self love could be coming through and confidence building, self compassion, and focusing on, you know, how do you see yourself? And do you feel as though you deserve to be seen, to be recognized, to be loved, to be complimented? Because you do. You deserve to be appreciated and you deserve to be noted and noticed 
and there is some type of mastery coming through. You could be mastering your own beauty. You could be mastering some, um, some type of creativity or some type of expression within yourself. And it could have taken you a while to get here, but it has to do with radically accepting who you are as you are and not fighting to change that. And that could be uh, revealing a beauty within yourself. Some type of radical acceptance of yourself is going to lead or is leading to some type of mastery of something that you are very, something that is just beautiful about you, uh, beautiful about your spirit. It's one of your beauties and it could really come to the surface during this time. And I think that that is going to be leading to some type of like reckoning, revelation, awakening, rebirth. Look at that rebirth, revelation and liberation. Yeah. And it's because of some type of thing that you are accepting about yourself, about your path, one of your gifts. Look at that, 26, 29, 20, uh, 25. And then we've got creative spark at the bottom with generosity and earth coming out. And we've got compassion again coming out. There's something that you are talented at or skilled at or that's just beautiful about you. It's just magnetizing about you, natural to you, your natural beauty, your natural expression. And I think... Uh, or an acceptance around that is reawakening a part of yourself that maybe hasn't come to the surface for a while, um, revealing yourself, revealing to yourself a magic, an essence of fire within you that has been longing to be kindled and it's creating some type of spark that is beautiful, that is magnetizing and that is liberating for you in your essence. And I think the goddesses are here bringing this message forward because it's very exciting. And I think that this beauty that you have or this, this, this talent, this magic that you have, this thing about you that's natural to you is going to be very uh, beneficial to you in this lifetime. I think it's going to be very generous to you and very giving to you in this lifetime and very um, rewarding to you in this lifetime because you've chosen to accept this about yourself, because you've had radical acceptance about this thing. You're going to find that you receive a lot of grace from this path that you are now on because you've accepted this, because you've chosen to follow it, because you haven't fought it anymore. It's very exciting. Okay. Um, I would say that that's it. And with that could come lots of healing, lots of emotional healing. Could surprise you even a little bit. Okay. Um, thank you guys. And I guess we'll see you in the next rhythm next reading this seems to be a truth a truth from the heart that is coming forward it's divine wisdom it's healing salvation Woo! these are heavy words these are good these are good things this is um spiritual this is spiritual energy and this is divine 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 energy divine timing that you are getting into this kind of work that you are getting back to this kind of energy and it's awakening something within you that is beautiful because you are a goddess, and especially within this light, especially within this talent that's emerging within you, this thing that you're accepting about yourself, this goddesshood, you know, it's going to really highlight your goddesshood. It's going to assure you on this path because you are committing to this thing and because you are beginning to focus on where your spirit draws from. You know, what is poetry to your spirit? What is the song of your spirit? You are beginning to master or accept, you know, accept your mastery path, accept what your master is meant to be about. And that is exciting. Very, very exciting. I think that you are on a great, great track. And there's a lot of healing. You you might be surprised how many things this is connected to. You know, you might have it might have come as a shock that, you know, this thing could be connected to this and this and this and this self-worth and beauty and um, education and, and focus and liberation and abundance, all these different things that it's connected to, but it is because it's a part of your core essence, your soul. It's what makes you beautiful. It's what makes you shine. It's your light. Um, it's your truth. And that is what's coming to the fo uh, coming into focus right now. Your truth is coming into focus. And so you're, you're aging beautifully. You're manifesting beautifully. And I think the goddesses are just here in support of you because you're also aging with grace and the wisdom is coming through 
effortlessly because you're allowing it to. And I think that they're very happy about that and very much so in support of that and in support of you continuing to receive this information, receive this blessing, and go down this path confidently and um, steadfastly outright and feeling assured that this is, you know, this is where your focus should be. Yeah, there's something being born within you and it's, it's a very beautiful thing. There's something awakening within you in this time. It's so, it's so healing. Yeah, look at that. It's so healing. Yeah, I think a lot of the masks are coming off around who you thought you should be, what you thought you should be doing, all these confusions, all these questions. It's becoming very clear. And it could feel so crazy because it just it should it could feel like, oh, this should be so obvious, but it you know, it took time to get here, but you're getting there now. You know, the image is getting clear, more and more clear, getting clearer and clearer. And I think that it's just a very exciting time. It's like, you know, the butterfly emerging from the cocoon, basically to understand who they were always meant to become. And 1616, it's a tower, but it's a beautiful tower. You know, finally being broken out of darkness, out of not being able to see, out of not being able to understand into clarity, into wisdom, into achievement, into mastery. Mastering the path of figuring out what your path is, you know, that's a beauty. It takes a long time for people to see what makes them beautiful, you know, and I think that you are seeing what makes you beautiful. You're seeing what makes your soul beautiful and what makes you feel beautiful, what truly makes you feel beautiful. And not just physically, but spiritually. What makes you feel beautiful is what makes you feel alive. It's what makes you feel loved. It's what makes you feel passionate. It's what makes you feel exercised and awake and spirited. And I think that all of that is coming into the call, all that is calling your name, all that is coming to surface. You're being liberated at this time. Your spirit is being liberated through achieving an, an understanding of its essence and embracing that wholeheartedly, radically. So I'm excited for you. Yeah, the earth is on your side at this time. I think that the future is bright and I think that you are coming into oneness with your future right now in a way that is very generous. Yeah, I think that there's a lot of abundance here. Yes, sacred unity. And I think that you should be very excited and just follow the path, follow the flow. Follow the flow and embrace it. And follow the flow and embrace it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.